hi guys today we do the adaptive hoffman encoding and the string is mississippi in the adaptive hoffman encoding we should always remember the two things that are the nodes should be in the increasing order uh, of the frequency and uh, the uh, sum of the frequency in the parent node should be greater than sum of all the frequency in the side node so taking these two facts into account let's draw the uh, Hoffman tree using the adaptive Hoffman encoding so what we do first is we write an empty node so this is just an empty node with where we can insert some object we'll always insert an object in an empty node so after doing this we'll insert M so what we do is we just put an empty node here and frequency of N that is 1 till now and we should also update the parent node so it is 1 plus 0 is 1 now we in in insert i so we to insert i we use the empty node so we just put another empty node here and put i here with frequency 1 and put i here then next is s so we can put sorry so before we do this we also have to update the frequency of the parent node that is 1 1 plus 0 is 1 so now let's put S here. So we use this node to put S. So we do this and the frequency of S is 1 now. And we update the frequency. Now we update the frequency of this node is 1 and we should also update the frequency of this node. So that will be 1 plus 1 is 2. So now we have a problem if you see in this section then there is a problem the problem is uh, on the right side it should be always a smaller node and on the sorry on the left side it's it should be smaller and on the right side it will be greater and order is also not maintained for example it's 0 1 1 then there is 2 so it's it's not in the proper order so the solution is what we do is we remove this node this whole software we don't do it we go back and we interchange this node so this whole bonds go here and it comes here now this is what happens when we do exchange so we just exchange this node sorry this is 2 because it should also update no this should be 3 yeah and we just interchange this node and we get this New figure now this is okay and we insert the s so we put an empty node here and s with the frequency of one and we update this node so it will become zero plus one is one and this node become one plus one is now no more one it becomes two and this plus uh, one plus two is it's no more two it becomes three now what we do is now we should put another S so there is the second S so we have to input this second S since we already have S here so we just update the frequency so if you update then it becomes 2 if it becomes 2 then this becomes 2 and if it becomes 2 then it becomes 1 plus 1 is 3 and if it becomes 3 then <coughs> it becomes 4 but there is still a problem the problem is on the order for example first just update so it becomes 2 and it becomes 2 so it becomes 2 plus 1 is 3 3 plus 1 is 4 but the problem is So if you see this node 
on this node then there is a problem because as you said the order should be in increasing order so the order is 0 1 0 2 2 1 it's, all, it's already gone and <coughs> again one so this whole order whole bonds is in the wrong order so what we do is again we do the rearrangement so how we rearrange is what about we put this here because here we can't uh, remove the S node so what we just do is we put this S to the top and put this M to the bottom because we can't create a new node or we can't even uh, say we can't interchange because we can't remove this whole whole S or we can't create a tree so we just interchange this node So this is how we, what happens when we interchange. So basically here, if you see this figure, then we are interchanging M and S. So we bring this M down S at the top. So it becomes this figure. And what we do is we continue with our op with our operation. In the operation, we wanted to insert S. And since S is already there, so we update the frequency and it becomes two. Now we again check if our tree is still valid it's 0 1 1 no yeah so 1 1 2 2 and 3 so it's still valid now next thing we want to do is uh, in we want to add i so if you see in this uh, figure then there is already i and we just have to update the frequency of the eye so let's update the frequency so one becomes two so if it becomes two then it's two plus one then it becomes three and three plus two is five so it becomes five and now check if three is still valid so it's zero one one two two and five so three is still valid so what we do is now we put the next character that is s s is already there we just update the frequency so new frequency is three so this is three and three plus three is six so the new frequency is six now we again want to insert uh, <coughs> no, now there is a problem. So when we we again want to insert the next S, for example, we want to insert this S, and again we have to insert uh, S here. So what we do is we just update the frequency, so it becomes the new frequency is four. Now three is not more. It's the same problem tree is no more valid because there is four and here is three so what we do is we again do the interchange so we interchange this we bring this whole tree to the left and this uh, s to the right now this is the new figure so it, what we did was we just or uh, extends the tree so this whole section went here and this section went here and this is the new figure we have and this is still valid because now 0 1 1 2 3 4 and 6 so it's in increasing order so it's still valid the tree is still valid so now what we do is if you see the original string then we have to insert the i this i in the same tree and if you see then there is there is already i and we have to update the i so if you see this is the node i and we just update the frequency by one so it's two now it becomes three now we have to update the parent node and it's three plus one is four and four plus four is eight Let's check 3 again, 0, 1, 1, 3, 4, 4, 8, still valid. Now what we do is we add the new string, that is P. So 
So if you see here, then <coughs> there is no P. So we have to add in our empty node. This is this. So what we do is we add P here with the frequency one and and we add P. So we have to update <coughs> the parent node that is it will have frequency one, one plus one is two and uh, two plus three is now five and five plus four is now nine. Now again we have a problem if you see in this section then there is a problem that is five is greater than four it should be either f less or equal to so what we do is again we do the extent so this node goes here and this node comes here so now this is the new tree what we did was we exchange so this whole section goes to the right and this comes to the left and this is the new tree okay now what we do is we now again insert next p and if you see here we already have p so what we do is just update the frequency one becomes two zero plus so it has um it's empty so it's zero zero plus two is two becomes two two plus one it becomes three and three plus three becomes six and six plus four becomes ten and let's check if it is still valid so for set the order it's on zero two two one so it's again not a valid tree because two is greater than one so what we do is we exchange the node so let's see how we exchange the node so one way to exchange it put this tree here this node here and this one here but that will still not solve the problem because it's zero three zero two and then comes the one and the way is exchange this node then we solve the problem because one comes here then it becomes one and two two goes at the top so what happens is zero one one and two so what i mean is just put it down and put it to the top because exchanging this will still create the same problem so now this is a new tree we have so if you see is we just exchange we bring this node up and this node down and this is the result so what we do next is we add the next character that is the i so we add i and if you see then we already have i no 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 sorry we are about to add p and we are having problem at there so what we do is when we add p then p should become 2 right so this also becomes 2 so this is 2 so we check the node if it is valid 3 0 1 1 2 2 3 4 5 and 9 so it's the tree is still valid so now we add the next uh, character that is i the last character so if you see there is already i here so if we update the frequency then it becomes 4 then 4 plus sorry we should also update this because we updated this node so it becomes 3 so 4 plus 3 becomes uh, 5 it's 4 plus 3 is 7 and 7 plus 4 is 11 then uh, this is our final tree so it's 7 plus 4 is 11 so this is our final tree and just check <coughs> the integrity of the tree it's 0 1 1 2 3 4 4 7 11 so it's in increasing order and in all the nodes parent tree has more greater uh, frequency than the child node so we finish with the uh, adaptive Hoffman encoding